This is the changing face of the man considered by some to be the leader of the digital media revolution, a face that now fades into history. Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple, the company behind the iPod and iTunes, iPad and iPhone, has died after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. Here he is, his trademark black mock neck sweater and blue jeans, in his signature role as pitchman for his products. It just all works. His contributions to the world of technology and gadgets are highly regarded. Aram Sinrek is a new media specialist and a professor at Rutgers University. He was able to take something that was very boring, very cold, very mysterious, that nobody understood and nobody really cared about, and turn it into the single sexiest object uh, in the marketplace today. And how did he do it? He put it in beautiful boxes with beautiful colors and fantastic packaging. He ran amazing marketing and advertising around it. And he put it into the hands of all the people in the world who influence the way that we think and, and who we try to emulate in our daily lives. Jobs is often mentioned in the same breath with titans of American business like Henry Ford and Walt Disney. His achievement, even heralded by U.S. President Barack Obama, speaking to a group of high school science students. And somewhere in this country, maybe in this room, is the next Thomas Edison or Steve Jobs just waiting for a chance to turn their idea into a new thriving business. But Jobs' storied career was not without a few bumps in the road. He left Apple in the late 1980s after a few stumbles. During that absence, he helped create Pixar Animation Studios. He returned to Apple in 1997.